Welcome, Traveler! Today, we are continuing our Dark Souls character into MTG Legends series, featuring everybody's favorite NPC, Solar. This is it. If you're interested, come take a peek into the cauldron. Do you remember the first time you ran to a large balcony to look down to the stunning scenery and you found an odd looking knight sunbathing in a full iron plate? Such an odd character compared to the gloom that you've gone through until that point, a real mood lifter, friendly and helpful, a man with a dream of finding his very own son. Let's see if we can do him justice. Color by slide. Without a doubt, our hero fits in the white slice. The words of sunlight are all about valuing the community and the group, helping each other getting through the nastiest sections of Waldron and beyond. Solaire is ready to help you throughout your journey as soon as he sees you, with no other intent than to see you succeed. Ready to face danger head on, Focusing on a singular objective the whole time, he wastes no time taking action and doesn't seek to understand the world around him. Blue is very far from his personality. Maybe black is even farther. He has no second thought over delaying his quest to help you, one of the least selfish characters in the series, and cares sincerely about others. Slayer wants to find his own son, he knows what he wants and is going to do everything in his power to achieve it. It's his destiny, he is very emotion driven and firmly believes he has a purpose in this world and at the end of his journey Slayer rekindles the first flame. Although following impulses and instincts might not always turn out to be a good decision in the most desperate of times. Our most lovable Naya warrior of sunlight is a legendary creature human cleric. For a 3 mana, he's a 1-4. Usually doesn't dish out large damage when summoned, but he's very durable. As it enters, he bolsters too. For those who don't know, Bolster is an old keyword that puts 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on a creature you control with the lowest power. This ability represents the boosting confidence young undeads feel when first meeting him. The second ability gives all your creatures a list. This mimics the phantom summoning mechanic. Two creatures fighting as one to take down a bigger foe. His last ability has a lot of text, but it boils down to letting your opponent's creatures enter the Warrior of Sunlight Covenant. You can join their attacks and they can join yours, as long as they are interacted with you, of course. Mimicking the enlist mechanic with creatures controlled by different players. Soler presents itself as a fun multiplayer commander able to spice up combat, giving the feeling of the boss raid when an arch enemy is present at the table. A solar deck is gonna be the most effective when filled with a mix of high power creatures and evasive threats. Let's take a look at some of the best options. Shadow and Landlock are the most reliable ways of getting through for damage. Throwing in enchantment removal on a stick is a solid plus for a visionary of the Soltari. Miri, while I like Duelist, is a tough to block card that makes it even harder for your opponents to retaliate. She'd be more than happy to summon a Warrior of Sunlight to make that duel just a little bit easier. Kumainu Battle Armor and Granzo Havoc Riser are great payoffs options for chipping away at your opponents with evasive creatures and ensuring your life total stays safe. The Rune's Sisters are a great duo that can fulfill double duty for you. Not only they can protect your pieces from removal, but giving protection from the right color against the right opponent 
can enable attacks that weren't there before. Exalted and List function very well together. You can benefit from Exalted and List from the same creatures, allowing you to virtually attack with two creatures but still take advantage of an Exalted trigger. Gigantosaurus and Hunted Troll are simply some of the most power to cost creatures you can get your hands on. There are some creatures with powerful enter the battlefield effects that leave large bodies with no effect attached. With Solaire, you can effectively use these cards like Terastodon and Bane of Progress without making the huge bodies go to waste by enlisting them on sneaky attackers. If you enjoy fighting dirty and one-shotting players, it's not hard to enlist a sizable creature into attacking Rotwolf or Butterfrax to take someone out by surprise. This was all from our beloved Warrior of Sunlight. If you enjoyed the video and wanna see more, please consider liking and subscribing. Leave a comment to let me know which character you wanna see next. This was Eve, thanks for watching.